Okay, so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not a gigantic fan of color. I, I really tend to stick to neutrals, but I wanted to do something different because I do have these palettes that really just are excellent, excellent palettes that I have the, this is the Glamour and this is the Gilded, but we're gonna be using the Glamour today. And I was playing around with a green look for when we went to go get our Christmas tree. I wanted something very Christmassy. And I actually really like how it turned out and I got a lot of compliments on it on social media and then in person too. So I figured that I would recreate that look for you guys today. This is what the Glamour palette looks like inside. It's definitely the palette with more color in it. and mainly we're going to be using this area here, the green area. So I always like to start with eye looks by putting a really light shade all over the lid. So we're going to take this shade Charm here and just put it all over the lid with a fluffy brush. I do have an eye primer on already. It's from Morphe. I like it well enough. Right, notice how that's pretty much the same color as my skin. I'm okay with that. And my eyelids, again, are still recovering from the Vivid Matte Liner and its many allergic reactions. So this is going to be a very wearable green look. In the crease, I'm going to start with this gray shade Empire here and just put that in the crease. Just to have an initial color down there that is a little bit more neutral. And then I'm gonna actually go in with a green shade. I'm gonna take this shade here in graphic and put that in the crease now. It's a very, let's say army kind of green. And like I said, this is very, very wearable. So these are not like lime green colors. If you're, you know, if you're like me and normally you're like, uh, color is just not my thing. This is actually very wearable. Notice how you can see that green there, but it's not anything crazy. And then it seemed like I got a little bit more on this side than that side, so I'm just gonna go back in with the other side, add a little bit more. I just wanted to have a really light hand when I started. There we go. So now we're gonna darken up the outer corner with another matte shade, and we're actually gonna go in with this like really dark navy color called Noir this one here with this smaller fluffier brush and just with a really really light hand just kind of diffuse it outward into that outer V kind of shape so pretty so pretty we're also going to clean things up too so don't you worry and then I'm going to take that same shade on the other side I just love how wearable this is. I know I keep saying that. The cool thing about it is that, yes, there are green undertones, but for the most part, like if you just looked at me right now, it would just be like, oh, it's like kind of like a, a grayish smoky eye. I am very happy with that. So now what I'm really excited about is that we are going to go into the actual shimmer shades, which is where I think this takes the look to like just the next level. I think you almost could leave it like this. I mean, I would add some lower lash things, but we need to go in with the shimmer too. The shimmer shade that we are going to use is this one, Rare. It's kind of the medium green shade. We're going to use all the shimmery green shades though. Don't you worry. And we're just gonna put this all over the lid. Isn't that so pretty, you guys? And this is seriously coming from somebody that does not normally like color, but it's something about green, you know? These dark green, green shades that are just so, so stinking pretty, you know? And then we're kind of lightening up that outer corner a little bit, but we're gonna go back in and darken it a little bit too. Can we talk about how pretty that is? I mean, so pretty. Now what we're gonna do is go in with a little bit more of a dense brush. All of these, well, two of these are from Morphe and the other three are from Sigma, but this is another Sigma brush. It's the E42. And we are gonna go in with this darker green shade called Steel and put it in the outer corner to deepen it up a little bit. Excuse me, 
Are we seeing this? So pretty, you guys. I love these palettes, man. And I don't hear anyone talking about these palettes. Everyone is like obsessed with the Man Eater, which I really want that one too, which was more of like their fall palette. Still really want that one. But these are so good and no one's talking about them. And then in the inner corner, we're gonna go in with this lightest green, almost silver shade called Gleam. And just put that in the inner corner. I have, I'm gonna use my pinky. I have really long nails right now, but we're gonna try. There is some fallout with these, obviously. And then go back in with the other side. Usually when I use these palettes, I'll do my eyes first, actually, because of the fallout. On this side, it's looking not as blended, so I'm going to go back in with that rare shade, that kind of middle green shade, and just go back over. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to take that shade I used for the crease, which really has basically nothing on it, and just blend So stinking pretty. And I take this beauty sponge for the fallout. Just, there we go. Perfect. That's a good trick. It's nice to keep like a, an old a beauty sponge around for stuff like this because some people try to brush it away, but I've actually found that using a um, an older beauty sponge with product on it, you can actually get fallout off pretty easily. I love this. Okay, but we're not done yet. Now what we're gonna do is go in with that really dark navy noir shade and that graphic green shade together for the lower lash line. Just mix them together. Just to kind of bring everything together. Notice how that just connects everything so well. All right, now I'm gonna do liner, mascara, and lashes off camera, but I'll tell you once it's all done, all the products that I used. Okay, liner, mascara, and lashes are on. I love how this turned out. I just keep looking in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, it looks so good. Okay, so the liner that I used, I always have to layer uh, just because the way my eyes are shaped. I made the wing with the NYX Epic Ink and then I um, used the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner as like a topper. Then I used the Maybelline Snapscara. And then the lashes that I'm wearing are the Kiss So Wispy in the Pixie style, which have been my favorites. I've I mentioned that in my November favorites video. So I love how this turned out. If this is a little bit more bold than you normally go, I would just throw on a nude lipstick and there you go, you're very festive. You could also put a red lip on as well. I'm just gonna leave this as it is because I'm actually about to film my favorite red lipsticks video, but actually like putting them on for you guys. So if you're excited to see that, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys, bye.